The festival has begun. The time has come for the presentation of our treasures. The treasures are gone, and you know who took them. Who could have done such a thing? The rumors are true. Look, the Yeti has returned, and it has stolen the treasures. Here is your proof. One giant footprint in the snow is hardly proof. No, not all is as it appears. There are many footprints in the snow, and there is great confusion in our village. But no one can fight the Yeti. It is hopeless. A great mystery, yes, but hopeless, no. Perhaps it is time we summoned my young friends from the West. Perhaps it is time we called... The Clue Finders. Boy, are we late. Bummer, Santiago. But how was I supposed to know they don't let you bring hamburgers over the border? Actually, Owen, many countries, including our own, restrict the transportation. Uh, thanks, Leslie, but I think he gets the point. Joni, look. There it is. Laptrap, you go on ahead and tell them we're coming. Oh, great! By myself? You don't actually believe their story about the abominable snowman, do you, Laptrap? What? You told me this was just a ski trip! Oh, great! Great! A snowman! A yeti, actually. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Laptrap. It only lives out here in the snow anyway, so... So I'll meet you in the village. <laughs> Bye! Your friends are not coming. I told you it was hopeless. There is only one thing to do. We must open the ancient chest of wisdom. What? But no one has ever done it before. There's no telling what might happen. It must be done. We're here! <laughs> Lap trap. Lap trap, wake up! Oh! There's the Great Hall, and the Rock Cave, and the Yak Pasture, with all the little yaks. Hey, what's with him? It must be your mechanical friend has been infused by the wisdom of our elders. Infused? He seems more confused. It may be that your friend's accident is for the best. He is now able to see with the eyes of our village. Perhaps this will help you to solve our mystery. We'll solve your mystery and recover your missing treasures. How are we going to do that, Joni? We don't even know where to start. There is much confusion in our village. Perhaps you should start there. Go walk among our townspeople. As you help them with their tasks, the eyes of our village will guide you. You will learn more about the treasures, the places in our village, and the townspeople. Okay, Clue Finders, here's my plan. Santiago, Laptrap, and I will go out and explore the town looking for clues. Good idea. Leslie and I will be your backup. But the Yeti... We'll use Santiago's red video phone to stay in constant communication. Hmm. But... With all the missing treasures, and all the townspeople we'll be meeting, and all the places to explore, I have a feeling we'll need to keep track of a lot of information. A perfect opportunity for us to try out the new LapTrap 2000 Logic Cube! Which I installed into LapTrap this morning. Let's go, Clue Finders! Yeti or no Yeti, we have a mystery to solve. These are but children. What can they do? 
We shall see. We shall see. Hey, Owen and Leslie. Thanks for doing all that research about life here in this village. Yeah, we'd be in big trouble if we couldn't call you on this radio whenever we needed help. We're happy to help. No problem. Just don't call collect. You know, something is really weird about all this. What do you mean? We've already found seven of the missing treasures. We've almost got this case solved. I agree with Joni. Something smells funny around here, and I don't mean Owen's socks. The excuses we have been hearing have been extremely flimsy. The treasures were safe here for years, so what has changed? Hey, I changed my socks last week, so they can't be the problem. You know, it occurs to me that there never used to be any foreigners around here. Now the village has a lot more people not originally from this area. Maybe one of them had something to do with the missing treasures. Isn't that apprentice guy a foreigner? Oh, I'm feeling kind of strange. What is it, Laptrap? I'm seeing a scene from from the past. That sounds like a fair price to me. I'll see you in a couple of months. Hey, gang, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like the apprentice before he came here. Dude, but what does it all mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means another trip to that repair shop. Everyone seems to be describing some big hairy monster as the culprit. Yeah, what's the story with that? Perhaps they are associating their fear of the unknown with old legends and folklore. I think we should get back to that outsider theory again. Well, what about that writer? She's definitely not from around here. Oh no, another blast from the past. Aren't they beautiful? If only I had some artifacts from the Himalayas, my collection of antiquities from the great mountain ranges of the world would be complete. Oh, I hate when that happens. Next time I'll mess with the horizontal hold. No, lap trap. The eyes of the village are giving us more clues. But how could the rider be behind us? She seems so cool. Okay, so we've discussed motivations for the apprentice and the rider. Who else would want to steal the treasures? Well, the photographer is not a native. Somebody turn me off, quick! I can't! Oh, wow. I have to have that new digital camera with the auxiliary storage and the nonlinear graphic editor. It's so cool. I just know I could take prize-winning pictures with that camera. But it's so expensive. Where am I ever going to get the money to pay for it? Me? How do I feel? You want to know how I feel? <laughs> I feel like a TV set with an invisible cable connection. This is wild, Laptrap. Seeing what happened in the past really helps us figure out why they might be here. Seems really odd the photographer would have taken the treasures just to buy a new camera. It does give her a motive, but it is far from conclusive evidence. Hey, you guys. What about the guide? We haven't discussed him yet. Dude, Laptrap. Don't you have any information for us? Nope. Not this time. Looks like I finally figured out how to stop the... <laughs> Here it comes. There it is, mates. The treasures of red Eye Pirate Pete. <laughs> we'll all be rich. So the guide has a history of being a treasure hunter. And the photographer needs money to buy a new camera. The writer collects antiquities from mountainous regions. And the apprentice looked like he was setting up some sneaky deal with that guy at the airport. All four seem to have a motive for stealing the treasures. But who did it? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting close. I sure hope so. If one more video broadcast tries to sneak into my circuits, I'm going to crash and burn. This is the place, all right. Look at those footprints. They sure are big. Oh, is this trip really necessary? Can't we just send an email or something? All right, gang, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, I smell hamburgers. This is no Yeti cave. This is somebody's campsite. Somebody who likes hamburgers. I don't get it. Oh, no! It's you! Yes, it is I! And if you kids hadn't meddled, I would have...
have had those treasures and sold them in the West for millions, but you'll never catch me. Never! Look out! The snow is cracking! Never! Avalanche! Watch out! I guess we will never find him. Can we please? Lamp trap! Shh! Can we please go home now? So how'd you like that adventure, huh, Lap Trap? I bet you'll be bored when we get home. I can do that. I like boring. Boring is good. Just sitting by the fire, doing a little word processing. No snow, no monsters. Boring.